Yo, what's going on today, everybody? It's your boy Alpha Grants here. Um, this video is gonna be a little different because um, I haven't posted in about like two weeks, I want to say, because uh, you know, just after the holidays and everything, I just I don't know what was going on with me. I just started getting like bad anxiety, and I don't know. I think. I, well, I'll tell you guys, you know. I'm sorry, first of all, for not doing uploads, like, as much as possible, you know, with just starting all this stuff, and I realize, you know, I guess just, you know, getting right into this stuff right after quitting drinking four months ago, you know, it was a good idea right then and there, you know, I thought a lot more about it, and then, you know, but I, I forgot the consequences. I gotta work, I gotta do all this stuff, I gotta, you know, and I gotta keep myself happy because if I don't keep myself happy, I'm not gonna, you know, stay, you know, sober, I guess you could say. Well, not technically. I mean, I'm just not gonna wanna be, I'm not, I'm not gonna be happy and when I'm just trying to please other people when I'm not pleased myself. And, um, over the Christmas holidays, I was just, you know, it was a good time for me, you know, but, I don't know, like, it's, it, it was just different, I guess you could say, like, because, not last Christmas, it's not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before that, and the Christmas before that, and shit, you know, I was, like, drinking and stuff, and. You know, it made me realize, like, what I really missed during that whole, like, time period at, like, like, a couple of years ago, and just, it was crazy, like, I actually was like, wow, and I started really realizing, I mean, I realized that I needed to quit drinking and stuff, you know, but I never realized how much of an impact it really, really, really had on my life, because, like, I lost so many memories due to just drinking in general. I'm not saying drinking is like a crazy bad thing. Guys, go have fun. Go drink. You know, just don't, just be responsible about it. When I was drinking, and you know, and if I did start drinking again, I, I feel like, well at this point, I feel like I could probably handle it a, bit, a little bit better. Even though I'm not going to do it, but, you know, because I don't want to put myself in that position or whatever, but, you guys, if you guys aren't uh, an alcoholic and you can handle it and you can go out there and have, you know, three or four beers and be perfectly fine, you know, and just call it a night, you do you guys, you know, that wasn't me, and I was the guy that, I went to the corner store every day. I didn't get beer. I got four locos, you know, shit like that. And I drank like five or six of them a day. And four locos, I've seen somebody drink one of those things and fucking be retarded. Pardon my language, but yeah. And I used to drink five of those. And so you could imagine all the stimulants and everything. And everything in that really just kind of just fucked up my brain and when I was having alcohol withdrawals it just really messed me up in my brain and I felt like I wasn't you know the right person anymore I guess you could say but I mean I came back to it obviously and I was okay and then just over the holidays I was just like wow I really missed everything like back in the day and now I'm just like, holy shit, and I think, you know, I started drinking a lot of Red Bull, too, like, lately, and fucking, I think that's part of the cause, too, because I was drinking a lot of Red Bull, and then over, like, the holidays, I didn't drink much Red Bull or anything, and I think I was having a caffeine withdrawal, and it started kind of, threw me into an anxiety attack, I guess you could say. I don't know, but I went to the doctor the other day, they gave me some anxiety medicine, not like Xanax or anything like that. They just gave me some stuff called Vistrol. 
and it's like it's a non-stimulant and it's not uh, not addictive. So I'm taking that. I'm taking an antibiotic for this fucking thing behind my ear. I had like this huge lump. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, I I just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys and hope you guys are like watching and listening and everything because. I'm telling you guys how I feel, and I want you guys to understand, like, what's really going on with me. And there probably isn't a day where I'm like, well, there's multiple days. I'm lying there. There's multiple days where I'm like, oh, I, whatever, I'm having a great day. But I work, life's stressful, you know, and there's a couple days there where I'm like, but I need a drink. I don't do it, but it's just always that mindset there. And it sucks. But other than that, you know, my anxiety, it's just, I don't know. It just came up out of nowhere. It was like Monday morning, last Monday. I was just randomly just, I went to work like a normal day. Didn't get a Red Bull. And all of a sudden, my chest was just like, boom, boom. And I just started seeing tunnel vision in that whole week up until, like, I still get it a little bit, you know? Like, now, but I'm I'm learning to cope with it and calm myself down and stuff. I don't, I don't know why it randomly just came like this, but, you know, learning to cope with it and everything. And the medication they gave me, they told me to take it as needed, so, like... I'm kind of glad to say I got it on Friday, and I've only taken one of them out of the bottle. They gave me one at the hospital, but then um, I took one out of the bottle when I thought I was going to get thrown into one. But then the past couple of days, like Saturday, Sunday, and including today, like I, I haven't took any because I've been taking my antibiotics every day, twice a day, of course. But I want to be able to figure this out, like, without doing pills and all that shit. It's not an addictive, I know, but still, it's a pill. Like, I don't want to be reliant on something like that, you know, so I'm, yeah, it's been doing all right, you know, like, I'll be, the mo the main thing that, like, really throws me off is, like, if I'm, like, staring into space and I'm like, oh, shit, like, what the hell am I doing? And then, like, I'll throw myself in, into an anxiety attack. But all I do is, like, now I just think, dude, why are you tripping? Your life's good. You have friends. You have family. You have people that watch you on YouTube. Not a lot, but, <laughs> I mean, you know, you gotta work for that. I, I understand that. This work ain't gonna just, I ain't gonna have fucking 100,000 followers, you know, overnight. It takes time. But... I keep working at it and stuff. And, you know, I just, to keep my mind off it, I listen to music, breathe, um, eat healthier foods, which I need to do again. Because I was doing good for the past couple of days and then went and got Taco Bell and stuff, but I'm alright. And, you know, been gotta eat breakfast every day or at least have like a breakfast essential or something like that you know like some of nutrients something that gets you through the day I gotta watch what I eat because like certain things can throw off anxiety and I'm 24 years old I shouldn't be having to worry about this shit really shouldn't but did it to myself I guess so yeah, guys, um, <coughs> that's why I haven't been really, you know, on here, and that's why I haven't really been on here, and just been kind of just working, and just coping with it, and dealing with everything, and, you know, but hopefully that all changes, because in two days now, on January 18th, I have a little surprise for everybody. I'm going to be going, I'm going to do it on the vlog and I'm going to do it live on Facebook. If you don't have me on Facebook, add me. Um, 
I'll put my name right there. So you guys can look me up or whatever. Um, yeah, add me, follow me, whatever you guys want to do. Because I'm going to be going live streaming that day with a, a guest host that you guys, you know, you guys that follow me and my music and everything, you guys are going to know who it is. And, you know, I'm sure some of you probably know already. But you're going to be surprised. But like, I don't know, it's, this anxiety stuff is just way too much, but I can get through it, I got you guys, I got my family, I got friends, you know, I got my music career to worry about, not worry about, but I got my music career to be like, okay, you know, fucking make a hot song or something, be happy about that motivation, you know, and, you know. Just gotta grind. That's, that's what I have to do. I've, I've had anxiety my whole life, but it never really, like, got to me like this. Like, I never, like, yeah, I, like, back in high school and stuff, I would get anxiety. And I'd be like, oh my god, I'm dying, you know, but, you know, I, that wasn't because of, you know, you know, just stress or anything, I don't think. And... Maybe it was, I don't know. But, I mean, I just need to get away from all the stress stuff and do do things with my life. You know, and make my life better, I guess you could say. Because I need to worry about myself and figure myself out before I try to please others. And I notice that's one of my weaknesses because I like, I hate when people don't, you know, I, I honestly hate denial. That's just, you know, I don't want to hear bad news. That's just, I don't want to hear it. If you got bad news, I'm not, don't tell me because I'm going to be upset. And, you know, it's, it's crazy. I, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there know what I'm talking about. You know, because you guys have the same thing I do. Um, it sucks. It really does. But, gotta cope with it, gotta deal with it, you know. It's life. And, I'm gonna be here for a long time, I'm hoping. Knock on wood. And, I gotta just deal with it. And, found ways to deal with it, you know. Breathe. I always know I got that medication right there too, so that kind of helps a little bit. Even though I'm, I might not take it, but at least I know I got it right there, just in case. Because when I did take it, the for at the hospital on that one time, like right after the hospital, that shit, that it mellowed it out so well, like within like 15, 20 minutes, and so that's really nice. So if like, so I can always use them if like. You know, if I'm going somewhere, you know, going on a trip, you know, something. So, I don't know, guys, but anyways, other than that, like I said, two days till big surprise. I'm going uh, to live stream it on Facebook with a special guest. You all probably know who he is. Or she is. Um, but, yeah guys, I just want to sit here and talk to you a little bit about it. And I want you guys to understand what I'm going through in my life. And I know you guys want to see that. And I know you guys think I'm pretty entertaining, I guess. I don't know why, but I appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate the support and everybody's love and everything. I hope the best for you guys and your guys' family, too. And all your guys' dreams and goals and everything come true, you know, because we all need it. I don't care who you are, bad or good, we all have a conscience, and we all want to, you know, we all have a goal to do something, and I hope we all achieve that goal. I really do. But, like I said, guys, you know, that's it pretty much. Um, 
Plus, I'll be daily vlogging from the 18th. Um, I'm not going to say anymore, actually.